Frankie, I'm going live right now. Turn off those lights right there, please. So look at how easy they made it, okay? Um, What's up guys, how's it going? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. Welcome to this epic live stream. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to land freelancing jobs with Python, even if you're a complete beginner. And I actually, what I'm gonna be doing, and I was talking with my friend Frankie, are you guys able to hear me now? You guys should be able to hear me now. If you can hear me, please confirm. And if you could please man the chat, that would be fantastic. So what I wanted to share with you in this is like, I want to get real with you in this video. I want to get raw with you. And I want to show you exactly where to go and how to land clients, where to find them, what type of jobs to look for. In this live stream, I'm going to share you the number one secret pitfall that almost every Python up and coming developer or anybody who wants to be a freelancer falls into and why they never fucking make any money. And I'll show you specifically what that means. And I'll also show you how you can avoid that and actually earn a real income with Python and coding. And in this video, we're going to be doing less of talking and I'm going to be doing more of showing. So this means the actual resources that I'm using and uh, the right place to go, what type of jobs to look at, and where can you actually apply, and how much money you can be earning as well. I'm also gonna be showing you specifically what type of Python job opportunities exist, how much people are paying for them as well as a freelancer. Because I realize for most of the audience and for most of the people, can you use a laptop instead of your phone? You don't need administrator. If you can just go live, that'd be great. Just so you can monitor it and see if you can hear it and if people can hear it, you know? Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Jeet. That's my new style. You know, I got, I, I wanted to go clean. No more homeless anymore. All right. Um, okay. So. All right, guys. Let's keep the chat clean, guys. Let's uh, be respectful for everybody that's here. We want to make it a high quality live stream for everyone. So if you're in the chat and you're acting like an idiot and ruining the experience for everyone who's viewing it, we will just kick you out or block you. But what I want to do is I want to give you guys massive amounts of value on this live stream. All right. So it's all for free. You're all you're going to get this value right here right now. All right, so let's jump right into it with all these things said, okay? We're gonna get started pretty much right away. Now, what everybody makes it seem like is that getting a freaking job or getting a freelancing opportunity requires you to have multiple degrees, um, requires you to have years of experience, a fucking PhD, I don't know what, most of these developers say, but most of the developers make it seem like rocket science. And while there are certain aspects of programming that are actually rocket science, specifically if you're working with NASA, most things are actually not that hard. Okay. They're a lot easier for you to get started in. And especially if you're new, you can get started in a lot quicker. So, um, I'm going to show you guys and we're going to pick things apart live as well. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to open up my document. And in this document, I'm also going to show you what type of opportunities never to kind of fall for and go after because they're pretty much just traps. 
and I'm going to show you what things to go after. So let's do this. We're going to do this. We're going to send this one over. All right. So now you guys should be seeing the live stream and um, or sorry, my screen, hopefully. And Frank, if you can double check that if people are seeing my screen pretty soon, that would be great. But I'll, I'll, I'll keep going. All right. So I want to give you examples of real world opportunities on a platform like Upwork. OK, so if you guys don't know what Upwork is, you go to Google Chrome dot com, you type in Upwork dot com. And this is where you can get freelancing jobs. All right. So you would go to where it says jobs. You would type in Python and uh, you would type it in correctly, unlike me. And depending on different parts of the world, you would either hit this off or you would hit this on. OK, and let's go down. And here you would look for opportunities that you could actually do as a Python developer. So check this out. OK, we have a bunch of job opportunities here. I'm on this live page. Hopefully everybody can view this. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Now you're going to look for opportunities and you're going to cancel out a lot of the things you can't do or maybe you don't have the skill set to do and that's fine. Maybe you look here, DJI SDK Raspberry Pi. I don't fucking know how to do this. I don't know what um, DJI is like a drone and working with Raspberry Pi. I have no experience working with drones or Raspberry Pi. So I'll skip this. But now let's go down and um, I'll probably skip Lunar and Fertility Calculator. All right. Might be interesting to read it, but I'm going to skip that because, you know, also you have to be an expert. It's probably requires some very specific knowledge. Maybe it's not a good fit. Let's keep going. Full stack software engineer. Skip, skip, skip. But now let's take a look at this one. OK. Python scrapey spider to retrieve PDF links. We need three Python scrapey spiders to crawl three different domains and return the names and full URLs of all PDF files on the domain. We do not need to download the PDFs, only create a list of their names and full URLs must be written in Python. All right. So what is this person actually asking? Now, it might sound like rocket science, but all this person is asking is, can you write a Python code? that can go to all these websites and literally pull all the URLs that say .pdf at the end. That's it. So if you go to a website and you see a URL on there that ends in .html, don't write that one locally, but only write a list of ones that end with .pdf. So all this person is asking is, hey, write a Python piece of code that can pull all the PDF URLs from the three different websites I give you. So for example, if I gave you cleverprogrammer.com, your Python script should be able to go all over cleverprogrammer.com and find all of the PDF links. If I gave you apple.com, it should be able to go all through apple.com and find all the PDF links. That's it. That's it for this job. How much are they paying? For this particular job, they're paying $300. So let me zoom in. Let's actually zoom out just a little bit. Right there, you can see it's a $300 job. You could actually apply for it right here, right now. All right. And these people are fucking legit. Look at where it says $30,000, right? So you, that's, that's generally what you want to look at. If you're looking to apply for a job, you don't necessarily want to apply to just any job, right? Like here it says $0 spent payment unverified. This person could just be lying or this person probably has no record of hiring people. So we don't, we don't have enough data, but somebody who spent $30,000 paying other people to work with them, they're most likely not playing around. So if you're working with them, you're going to be at least making $300 or more for this particular task. Now, if you're somebody who has cool social skills, you could get this particular job and you could hand this job off to somebody who knows how to do it. So you could hire a developer from somewhere and make sure that they do this project while you just manage them. All right. So then you can get profit, but you don't even necessarily have to be that good at coding. So that's an alternative, even if you're not that great of a developer, if you're a complete beginner. 
But to be honest, to do this project, if you even have a little bit of skill in Python, like let's say you're past the beginner phase, you're more intermediate, like it says, this is a project that you could do very realistically, okay? So that's one example. Let's go down and see maybe if there are any other examples that we can see right off the bat. So, okay, let's see this one. Let me go to the chat first and see what's going on. What are people saying in the chat? How to use Python. Are we, what? Okay, great, awesome. Can I see your screen? Hello? Okay, all right, whatever. So here I am on this page and uh, you can see it says scrape two sites, walk me through. So now check this out, okay? This guy goes, I know how to do basic scraping with Python and Beautiful Soup. I want you to show me how to do a couple of trickier sites or best of all, show me how to access an API. Please note, I am not paying you to do it for me. So this guy is not even, he doesn't even need you to do anything for him. He just says, I'm paying you to show me how to do it. You can give me written instructions, but I'd prefer a Zoom meeting where we can walk through it together. So he's even willing to not even meet with you in person or online or on a one-on-one -on -one call. He's even okay with written instructions. And he says, these are not work-related sites. They're gathering information for my fantasy baseball team. So he literally wants to hire someone to help him uh, do some web scraping with Python and Beautiful Soup for his freaking fantasy baseball team. And he's verified here and he's paid people over, he's paid a total of over $60. So unlike, so it's not a scam, it's somebody who's real, who's spent real money. And all he wants is somebody to walk him through. So even if you're pretty much a beginner and you just go through a little bit of training with me on how Python and Beautiful Soup works or web scraping, you can actually work with this person and land this person as your client and they'll be paying you 30 or 50 or $60 an hour. So you work with this person for three or four hours, that's 200 or $300 right there for you. Now, before I continue further, I do wanna know if this is valuable for you. Has this been helpful so far? I'm gonna stop my screen share for just a second. All right, cool. Mm. So, all right, now all this stuff that I'm sharing with you guys right over here, we created our new program right around this whole thing because what we wanna be able to do for you is I want you to be able to go to these exact jobs, learn these exact skills, and be able to land clients, okay? Because most of the people, they have skills, but they have random freaking skills, right? But how cool would it fucking be if somebody literally, okay, let me go back to that. How cool would it be if somebody literally shows you, like if I bring you in and I go, we're gonna do this exact project this person is asking for. Then I'm gonna show you how to go to this exact client on Upwork exactly what to say to this person and then land this person as your client. How cool would it be if somebody just went, okay, hey man, you see this project um, right over here, this Python scrapey spider one? Yeah, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it. So we make it somewhere in a program. We make this full project and then I show you exactly how to reach out to this client and how to land this client and then how to solve this problem for them. That's essentially what I wanted to do in this new program that we have launched and it's called Automate with Python like a badass. And that program allows you to land freelancing jobs on platforms like Upwork.com, start earning an income, even if you're a complete beginner. That is the goal with the new program that we just launched. Uh, let's go through a few uh, more examples, okay? So I have a few examples, and I wanna also give you examples of what, what not to do, all right? What type of jobs are bad, for example. So let's take a look at this job. The guy says, need help building restaurant app. Now, somebody he needs is entry level, 
That's pretty cool. And he goes, I'm developing an online application for my family's restaurant. I'm an IT graduate certified in computer programming and I will be leading the project. I'm interested in working with local developers, blah, 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 blah. I just kind of skipped over it. And then he goes, when I plan on meeting, I would prefer that the developers are present because sometimes I'll be meeting with investors. Please send me a message, your experience, da, 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 da. Okay. Let me ask you a question. If you're watching this stream, drop it in the chat below right now. Is this a good job opportunity or is this a bad job opportunity? Is this a good freelancing opportunity or a bad freelancing opportunity? And I want you to critically think and tell me why. Don't just look at my fucking answer right over here at the top, but like give me a reason as how you would reason with it and why. I'm gonna jump into the chat now and see what you've come up with. So tell me what you think about this. All right, people saying this is useful. Da, 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 da. Okay, some people say no. Wasim says no. Uh, Ole says low rate. Vishal says no. Kamil says good and bad both. Ole says zero dollars spent. Tanisha says no money spent. Okay, this is really great. Thank you guys for participating. Okay, I love that. Thank you so much. Abdul Majid says, because your dollar spent, this is not good because too many demands and no money spent thus far. Claire, okay. Shivam says, big no, no money spent. Akash says, title and step uh, description is not good. Small steps, nope, no, build this out with PHP. Gonna be in the pain in the ass, Christopher says. Robert says, zero dollar spent, very vague description bad because too many texts and he seems not reliable no exact income he's fake okay looks like you guys are on the right track so that's fantastic guys by the way thank you for everybody who just spent that much time engaging with it you're much more likely to make way more fucking money than a lot of the people who are on this live stream but not participating i still love you but these are the things that get you to actually understand a lot of these concepts. This is what makes the difference between you getting these clients and not getting these clients and watch these clients be taken by somebody else. So thank you for that level of initiative, that level of participation, because it also makes it a lot more fun for me. So thank you for that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and uh, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on it. Would you guys like to hear my thoughts on this? It's a trick question, because <laughs> share it anyway. All right, let's go. So I'll go right here. Okay, so here's why I personally say no. So first of all, I agree with everyone. This guy, first of all, has no ratings. So there's zero stars that he has. So that's the first uh, flag for me. Another flag for me that's pretty hu huge is that he has spent zero dollars so far. But now here's the big red flag for me. He sounds like every fucking loser who has an idea for an app and they're gonna be meeting with investors and they're trying to sell you some pipe dream of something that doesn't yet exist. He doesn't have a prototype. He hasn't built anything yet. He says, I plan to wrap it up and go native. I plan to make this. I'm thinking about making this. Maybe I'll be meeting with investors one day. There's nothing yet. There are no investors yet. This person is an IT graduate certified in computer programming, okay? He doesn't even fucking have a job. So, it doesn't mean that his idea doesn't have potential. It doesn't mean that this might not be the next Facebook. It just means that the odds of all of that are very low and there's no security or any reliability. Always follow the data. You ha your life is very important, guys. Your time is very important. So going down a rabbit hole like this, which a lot of freelancers do, you will be so surprised. So many freelancers will go down this path and they will be so confused that they didn't get any money. This guy's not trying to scam you. This is a person with good intentions, but you are going to not make any money from this or very little money because this person has no money to give you. He's a graduate. He doesn't even have a job. So where is he gonna give you money from, okay? And investors and all that stuff is most likely a pipe dream. If you get in any Uber car 
every Uber driver, you know what I'm talking about? Every Uber driver has like a freaking app idea. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, like all those people, everybody, everybody has, person. right? And all these people have no record for, for their results. Like, why are you working a fucking uh, $7 an hour job, but you have this amazing app idea? Like, you should have... You should have had something prior to that, right? Like you should have had maybe a business prior to that. You should have some kind of track record, right? Then maybe your idea is more believable. People want to get behind it. So stay away from this. It's a trap, this type of stuff, okay? Again, I'm not saying, oh, it's a scam or anything, but I'm just saying that even though this person has good intentions, you want to be really intelligent as a freelancer, as a developer, so then you that you could get paid what you're worth and um, not be undermined and overworked, okay? So that is what I would say to that. Let me go and see what people are saying in the live chat because I want to make sure I engage with, with you guys. All right, of course not. Zero income, blah, 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 blah. Why not? Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, what are people saying? So no lurking, yep, yep. All right, so the uh, some people asked in the, in some people emailed me from this live stream and they asked, hey, is this class, so when you join this class, guys, you have access to, when you join Automate with Python, the new program that we just launched, you actually have access to it for a lifetime, all right? This is not, you don't have access to it for a little bit. So even though it's a eight module program and we're only gonna add more modules to help you start earning an income, because the whole point of the program is to take you from zero to start landing these specific clients I'm showing you on Upwork. We wanna make it that brain dead simple for you and your return on investment, we wanna make it that brain dead simple. but. Yeah, so essentially, once you join, you're gonna have access to it forever, okay? It's not like you just, and you can take it at your own pace as well. So just wanted to mention that. Now, let me continue and show you guys some other examples. So let's go and do this. Let's go and do this, let's go, boom. All right, here's another good example. Uh, here's another job opportunity and you guys judge this and let me know what you guys think. So this guy says Python beginner homework help needed. Hello, this is an unconventional post from my company. One of our customers needs some help for high school homework in Python. Good English skill is a must, can hire immediately. So if it were you, and let's say you are either a complete beginner or you have just a little bit of skill in Python or whatever the case may be, would you take the time to apply to this or not? Um, give me a yes or no, but also give me your critical thinking and your reason behind it, okay? I'm gonna read everybody's comment in the live stream and then we're gonna go from there. So what do you think? Would you apply to this opportunity or not? This was posted one day ago and yeah. Yep. So let's see. Let's see what you guys say. All right. Let's see what's going on. Carlos says, "Let's do another example." Damn, Carlos is excited. How to write description? How to write skill description Upwork? Wasim, we also show you that in our program. How do you write your skill description in Upwork? All right. So, if those are the questions you want to ask that are very technical, everything is covered in the course. I, I would suggest you at least check it out. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on. Thanks for the info. Robert says David Robertson snag it now. Okay. Python and JavaScript worth more. Okay, so somebody says, Christopher says, why not? Cool. Mikey says, yes, yeah, seems good for a beginner. Dino says, you will do something like that for free because I can't pay that much. No, Kamil is still suspicious. Kamil is always suspicious. Gig looks suspicious. Unkit says, no, zero star and not challenging. Carlos says, yes, he will do it because it says $600 spent and requires English. Okay. Saeed says definitely yes. Kman1230 says yes, payment history is there. 
Loco Lightning says maybe only thing does not have much info. Sean says, to be honest, I won't because he's not specific about the problem. Robert says, any good reference is a worthwhile investment. Okay. All right. I do it if it's an upfront or at least secured by third party, Bruno says. They have no rating. They spent 600. I'd go for it. Okay. Cool. Claire says, I would apply. All right. So let's see. Uh, here's how I would answer it. There's no clear right or wrong answer. Sometimes there is, but I'll just give you my thoughts behind it so you guys can see how I would kind of tackle thinking about this, okay? All right, whoops. Okay, so here's how I would kind of think about this. Python beginner homework help needed. Now, if I was in your position where I was looking for a client and to work with someone, and I wanna just be able to live my own lifestyle, right? Like I'm living in Hollywood. I want to work remotely. I wanna be able to kind of have my own lifestyle, choose my own hours, have my own clients, kind of earn an income, and then choose my ability to hire and fire clients. And I saw this and I'd be like, hmm, skill level can't be that hard. It's high school homework. I have good English. They're looking to hire immediately. They are payment verified. They have already spent over $600. For me, depends on your interests, right? If this is genuinely not interesting to you, then maybe don't do it. I love working with people. I love teaching. I love explaining things. It deepens my knowledge. It also, uh, I love seeing the transformation that takes place in people and you change the trajectory of their entire life. So for me, that's what's really powerful and magnetic about this, being able to have that opportunity and that privilege. And outside of that, I'm getting paid for this as well. So it's a win on many different spectrums. And now if I have another client who I like less, I can fire that client or I can choose to up my rates with that client. It gives me more options. So you wanna have, your power comes from the number of options you have, okay? So this is, you know, if, if you're talking about the dating world and if you guys have options of which girl you could hang out with or make her your girlfriend or your wife, right? You get to choose who you want to be with. But if you don't have that option, you will go with literally whoever is there available for you. Sometimes people get into a relationship and stay in that fucking relationship for a long time out of convenience and out of having no options, all right? So you wanna always be the person who's in the position where you're choosing from a position of power rather than that of weakness. Then when you commit to a relationship, then you really commit. Or if you commit to a client, then you really commit. So in this case, I would say this would be a yes, okay? This is a great opportunity. Um, all right, let's see what people have said before I continue any further. Let's go right there, throw my face back on. Go here, bada bam, bada boom. Let's see what people are saying. All right. Pingwell, okay, cool. David is down for it. Saeed is genuine client. Jeet is, yes, it is good for Python beginners. Claire says, yes, I would also enjoy teaching and explaining concept, which eventually resonates with the student. Awesome. Carla says, power, choices, comes from a mindset of abundance. Exactly. Okay, cool. So, all right, cool. Okay, hopefully, I've, I think... Hopefully for you guys, this has been valuable so far. This was something new that I wanted to do. I'd never done this before. I wanted to give it a try and see how you guys like it. To be honest, this is super, if I was in that position, this would have been massively valuable for me. That's why I shared it because if I was back in the day where I was looking for clients and wanted to know how I could do it, I would love to be able to just see exactly what I need to do, okay? So again, if you guys are here and interested in all this stuff so far, I'm gonna talk about how to automate with Python like a badass, our brand new program that we just launched, me and my entire team, we worked on it. And in that program, we literally take these types of jobs from Upwork, 
we complete them as projects that you can have on your portfolio. And then we show you how you can go to these clients on Upwork. How do you build a profile? How do you go and reach out to these clients? And how do you land these types of clients for these exact jobs? So we don't wanna just teach you random fucking automation stuff that you can find on udemy.com or you can find on you know, YouTube anywhere. We wanna give you the real stuff that you can actually apply in real life and actually get results and go to these practical jobs and get them done. So we wanted to keep it as real world, as practical as possible for you. That's why I wanted to do this live stream and share with you everything live so you could see how this works, okay? This is why I believe it's so important to be just transparent and authentic with you guys and raw. And um, instead of making some fancy video and sharing this with you guys, I just wanted to share this with you one-on-one, -on -one, just me and you, okay? Hopefully you found this valuable. If you are interested in this, definitely click the link in the description for the Automate with Python Like a Badass course. And at the very least, just check it out. We have an amazing video there for you to see. You can also learn more about the program and see if it's a good fit for you. If it's not, you don't need to join it. If it seems like a good fit for you, you're interested in working as a remote developer, kind of having your own lifestyle, working as a freelancer, and just becoming a badass at Python um, in general, then definitely go check out this program. We'll show you how to crush it as a Python freelancer in 2019 and beyond. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love your face, and as always, I'm gonna see you in the next video.